data that we're providing in these studies helps other people along um, figuring out what, re what trials and drugs and treatments and progression looks like uh, and what's needed of us. Maybe Charlie can talk a little bit about the uh, imaging MMD because you were involved in it. Yeah, so the biggest, yeah. the biggest thing I could say about natural history studies and things of that nature is it's really important that we get this data um, as it's kind of the body of information in which um, it's like the benchmark for progression. And without that information, there's no way to compare interventions to the standard. And so that's why these natural history studies are so important um, because it helps <coughs> the therapies that we're seeing come out today. And Mike, you've been involved in just yes. the imaging, right? Uh, the imaging, it, well, at the time it was DMD, but now it's um, imaging MD. And um, I also did, I did the before long trial at the University of Pittsburgh and completed that. And uh, now I'm advocating on the uh, Edgewise team because I'm not eligible for the trial, but if I was, I would have. But in the beginning, before my health deteriorated a little bit, I was afraid to do any studies because I was afraid it would make me worse. But now I will do any study that they want. I'm totally into it. And by the way, if anyone needs water, we just got some in the water. The, uh, the other one um, that's also a natural history study is uh, GRASP. Uh, it's through VCU, but there's a variety of other studies that are involved. And they're also looking to collect natural history data so they can improve uh, research and care for uh, vector patients. We'll do anything, uh, any experiments uh, in trial treatments or uh, studies or anything. Uh, 